Brandon Say was awarded a Medal of Courage by the city of Alhambra in California during a ceremony on Sunday. A week after the 26-year-old disarmed the Monterey Park gunman shortly after he killed 11 people in a dance studio. The start of the new year has been extremely difficult, but we have the rest of the year to spread compassion and build back our community. He also received a call from the U.S. President Joe Biden for his heroic act. You are who we are. America has never backed down. We've always stepped up because of people like you. I appreciate your words of kindness. Although widely suspected to be a personal dispute, the motive for the attack is still under investigation, just like the mass shooting that took place only three days later in Half Moon Bay where an immigrant farm worker is accused of shooting and killing seven of his co-workers. The question was whether this is any evidence of copycat of Monterey Park, and uh, we believe uh, the answer is no to that. Not just simply we're not sure. We believe the answer is no. Regardless of the cause, the tragedies have left a sense of shock and outrage among local residents. We're heartbroken because this all reminds us of what happened with the mass shooting that also happened in Atlanta, and it brings back a lot of PTSD for a lot of people. Continuing to see these videos, these attacks to continue to happen, and so our community is just very, very heartbroken right now. Speaking at the site of California's latest massacre, Governor Gavin Newsom touched on the disproportionate impact hate crimes had on the state's Asian American community. The Asian community is such a source of, of pride and strength uh, and vibrancy to the state of California. No state can lay claim to more people of Asian descent. I grew up in San Francisco, a third of our population age of sin. I live in a state where 27% of us are foreign born, over a third in San Mateo County. What a gift, a majority minority state. But I'm also mindful we saw hate crimes go up 177% against Asians last year. A little more modest in some parts of the country and we have to do more. President Biden urged both U.S. chambers to pass a new bill introduced by Democratic senators to ban assault weapons. But its approval could be an uphill battle as it remains one of the most divisive issues in the nation. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.